Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about the topic size and growth of a population as part of our series on social medicine. Population size and growth is a critical aspect of human society that has significant implications for health, social, economic and environmental outcomes. Accurately measuring population size and growth is essential to understand the current state of a population and to forecast future trends. In this video, we will talk about the various methods used to measure population size and growth, global trends and estimations for the future growth development of the world population. What does population size and growth measurement involve? Measuring population size and growth involves the collection and analysis of data on several variables, including births, deaths, migration and fertility rates. The most basic measure of population size is the number of people living in a particular area at a given point in time, which is referred to as the population count. Population growth, on the other hand, refers to the relative increase or decrease in the size of a population over a specific period. How can we estimate population size and growth? We can evaluate population size and growth by the population number at a fixed moment in time. We can also assess the average annual growth rate in percentages to get an idea how the population in one country is growing or shrinking. Another method is to estimate the time period required to gain a certain amount of people or how long it would take a country to double its population. One of the most commonly used measures of population growth or decline is the crude birth rate, which is the number of births per 1000 people in a population in a given year. Another measure is the crude death rate, which is the number of deaths per 1000 people in a population in a given year. The difference between crude birth rate and crude death rate is referred to as the natural increase rate. This rate is also called natural population change. The global average crude birth rate is around 18 births per 1000 per year and the global average crude death rate is around 8 deaths per 1000 per year. In comparison, the average crude birth rate in Europe is around 10 to 12 births per 1000 of a population per year and the average crude death rate in Europe is around 10 to 12 deaths per 1000 of a population per year. Which countries have the highest crude birth rate and highest crude death rate? The African country Niger has consistently one of the highest crude birth rates in the world. In 2020, its crude birth rate was estimated to be around 44 births per 1000 of a population. The Democratic Republic of Congo has also had a high crude birth rate. In 2020, its crude birth rate was estimated to be around 38 births per 1000 of a population. Bulgaria has had one of the highest crude death rates in the world. In 2020, its crude death rate was estimated to be around 16 deaths per 1000 population. Japan has one of the highest life expectancies globally, but it also has a relatively high crude death rate due to its aging population. In 2020, its crude death rate was estimated to be around 11 deaths per 1000 population. Migration is another crucial factor in population growth and is measured using net migration, which is the difference between the number of immigrants and emigrants in a population. Migration trends globally can vary over time and are influenced by numerous factors, including economic opportunities, political instability, armed conflicts, environmental changes and social factors. What is the effect of migration on public health? 
migration can have both positive and negative effects on public health, and its impact can vary depending on several factors, such as the characteristics of the migrating population, the conditions in the host and home countries, and the availability and accessibility of healthcare services. There are different ways in which migration can affect public health. Migration can contribute to the spread of infectious diseases across borders. People moving to other countries may come from regions with high disease burdens or may be exposed to new diseases during their journey. If adequate screening and healthcare services are not in place, there is a risk of outbreaks in host communities. People moving to other countries often face challenges in accessing healthcare services, particularly if they are undocumented or lack health insurance. Language barriers, cultural differences and legal restrictions can hinder their access to appropriate care, leading to disparities in health outcomes. Migration can have significant psychological and emotional effects on individuals particularly due to factors such as separation from family, loss of social support networks, and the experience of trauma or violence. Mental health issues among people moving to other countries can have public health implications as untreated medical health conditions can lead to reduced productivity, increased healthcare costs, and social disruptions. People moving to other countries may also adopt new health behaviors and lifestyles in their host countries, which can have both positive and negative effects on public health. For example, they may adopt healthier eating habits or engage in physical activities, leading to improved health outcomes. However, they may also face challenges in adapting to, to new environments, which can contribute to unhealthy behaviors, such as smoking, alcohol or drug abuse, and sedentary lifestyles. Another important measure of the population is the population density. Population density refers to the number of people living in a particular area per unit of land. It is usually measured in persons per square kilometer or persons per square mile. Population density is an important demographic indicator that provides information about how crowded a particular area is and how the population is distributed in that area. Population density is influenced by a variety of factors, including geographic location, climate, availability of resources and infrastructure. For example, urban areas tend to have higher population densities than rural areas due to their concentrated populations and limited land availability. Similarly, areas with a high demand for resources, such as water or arable land, may have higher population densities as people cluster around these resources. Why is the estimation of population density important? Measuring population density is important for a number of reasons. First, it can help governments and other organizations plan for the needs of their populations. For example, if an area has a high population density, then more resources, such as hospitals, schools and housing, may be needed to support the population. Second, population density can be used to understand patterns of migration and urbanization, as well as to identify areas where there may be overcrowding or underpopulation. Population density is a key factor in determining the social, economic and environmental well-being of a particular area. High population densities can lead to is issues such as traffic congestion, pollution and overcrowding, while low population densities can result in a lack of economic development and infrastructure. Additionally, population density can influence the spread of infectious diseases and the accessibility of healthcare services. What are global trends in population density? 
global trends in population density show that the world's population is becoming increasingly concentrated in urban areas. According to the United Nations, 55% of the world's population lived in urban areas in 2018, and this is projected to increase to 68% by 2050. The European city-state Monaco is the most densely populated country worldwide, followed by the Chinese territory of Macau. This trend is particularly pronounced in developing countries, where urbanization is occurring at a much faster pace than in developed countries. The country of Greenland is the least densely populated territory in the world, with 0.14 people per square kilometer, followed by Mongolia, Namibia and Australia. What is the impact of changes in the population on the world? Global trends in population size and growth have significant implications for the social, economic and environmental conditions of the world. According to the United Nations, the world's population reached 7.9 billion people in 2021 and is projected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050. This increase in population will be unevenly distributed, with some countries experiencing significant growth while other countries experience a decline. The highest population growth rates are expected to occur in Sub-Saharan Africa, while Europe and North America are projected to experience population declines. Over most of human history, the world population grew very slowly. The growth rates began slowly during the 17th and 18th century as mortality started to decline. Additionally, with accelerating gains in longevity, the growth rates of the world population increased, especially during the 20th century, when it reached a peak of 2% per year in 1965 to 1970. Since then, the speed of population growth has been decelerating, which is thought to be largely due to falling fertility and increasing maternal age for the first baby. How will the world population growth continue in the future? Future population growth is estimated to be almost entirely in the developing world, with the fastest growth in the poorest countries. The population of the developing countries is projected to rise from 5.6 billion in 2009 to 7.9 billion in 2050. The population in the least developed countries is currently the fastest growing in the world, with an increase of population of 2.3% per year. It is also estimated that by 2030, India's population will surpass China's to become the largest country in the world. The population of the more developed regions is expected to change minimally, while the population of many countries in the developed world is expected to decrease between 2018 and 2050. By 2050, 87% of the world population is expected to live in less developed regions, whereas only 13% will live in the more developed regions of the world. These estimations do usually not account for net migration to developed countries. How does population size and growth affect public health? The impact of population size and growth on public health is significant, as it affects access to healthcare, disease transmission and the availability of resources. An increase in population size can lead to a strain on healthcare services, resulting in reduced access to healthcare for some individuals. Additionally, population growth can increase the spread of infectious diseases, especially in overcrowded areas with inadequate sanitation and hygiene. Population growth can also impact the availability of resources, such as food, water and energy, which can have significant implications for human health and well-being. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe.
Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.